YouTube. That what we're going to try to show you is a little bit of what not to do, what to do as far as peppers. Here in East Texas, I kind of like my stuff a little bit hotter. My wife does not like hot stuff. I cannot stand like ghost peppers, Carolina Reapers, anything like that. Any anything that's that hot, I just now we just grow them just to see if we can grow them. But what I want to talk to you tonight about is how we how we put some peppers up and what we do with all the peppers that we had that we had no idea we was gonna get this many of. So out in the garden you've seen the last couple of videos that have Hungarian wax peppers. We have four plants of Hungarian wax peppers. They're about a foot and a half. Some, I think one of them out there is two foot tall. On the back porch, we have several Hungarian wax peppers. And on the, on the rain gutter grow system, we have a couple of Hungarian wax peppers. So with all these Hungarian wax peppers, which is a hot banana pepper, it has a completely different taste than a jalapeno. We do cut up our jalapenos as far as we put them in nachos and put them in some Mexican food dishes that we cook, whatnot. But banana pepper has a whole different taste. So I guess you could, but it's going to taste a little bit different. So to begin this, so what we do with our peppers is the, the hot banana peppers or Hungarian wax peppers, what we normally do since we don't know any kind of recipe to actually put them in or whatnot, is we'll take them and we'll dehydrate them here in the dehydrator tray. I'll put a link to this dehydrator tray. This is not one of the big fancy fancy ones or anything like that. Just plain old. It's got like six layers that we can dehydrate peppers on. So what we do is I've taken all these banana peppers, cut the tops and cut the bottom off, cut them in half and deseeded them. Now believe me when I say I deseeded them, apparently I have learned something new this year. You better put some latex gloves on or whatever. I should know this. I'm a policeman, I'm a detective, and when we walk into a crime scene, we always put gloves on. Believe me, these peppers are a crime scene. They're hot. I walked out here tonight, I had a bucket full of peppers, of different varying kinds of peppers, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, cayenne peppers, and I did not put any gloves on. I'm paying the price now, apparently, with me, I'm left-handed, so I would cut the pepper up, just, I mean, basically cut the top off the pepper, cut the bottom off the pepper, slice the pepper in half, Deseed the pepper and put the pepper onto the tray. That was it. Apparently, at some point in time in there, I reached down and got my drink and took a drink. And now my lips are on fire. It feels like someone has put a lighter up to my lips and it's burning off the burning off my mustache. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> and these are just plain old. Hungarian wax peppers. They're not really hot. They're not like Carolina Reapers. They're not like ghost peppers or anything like that. But these to me apparently are very, very hot. But anyway, we also went and came in and we took jalapeno peppers and cut them up. These jalapeno peppers, we picked them about three days ago or so, four days ago, and they have pretty much wilted and they were already starting to have heat heat striations in them, which is what I call them, and like I said, just we I cut the top and bottom off. There's some of the seeds still in there because we still like the seeds in some of them. And basically what we're going to do is dehydrate all this stuff. We've got another tray of Hungarian wax peppers. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll dehydrate these and get them completely into the board they're completely totally dried out what i'll do then is i'll put them into a blender or a ninja and we'll take them and we'll cut them up once they're completely dry i'll take them and i'll cut them up 
to where they're just powder. So anytime we need chili powder instead of chili powder, we just take a teaspoon of all the peppers that we have, the pepper powder. Believe me, these peppers are hot right now. When you dehydrate them and you mix them all together, you got jalapenos, you got Hungarian wax peppers, more Hungarian wax peppers. We don't have any cayenne yet. We've got like two or three cayenne peppers we picked so far out of the back to Eden Garden, but not enough to really put with all this. So what all this will consist of is we'll we'll take it all, we'll put it all into a blender or a ninja where it cuts it up real fine, turns it into a powder once it's dehydrated. And anytime you need anything hot, teaspoon, be very wary of the teaspoon because it's going to be hot. If you are brave enough to put a tablespoon in it, well, I I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just, that's too hot for us. Anyways, just wanted to catch you up on that. One last jalapeno pepper here. Cut the top off, even with a sharp knife. Cut the bottom off, slice it in half. Take the meat of it out. Place it on the dehydrator. Um, again, I would suggest please use gloves, use latex gloves or some kind of gloves before you do this. Because you will invariably you will touch your face, you will touch your lips, you will grab a drink and take a drink. You will rub your eye for whatever reason and you will hate yourself for it because it's going to hurt for a while. A couple years ago we did Hungarian wax peppers, Tabasco peppers, <clears throat> a lot of Tabasco peppers. My wife went up in there and she, she canned everything. She put all the peppers together, canned them and stuff. The Tabasco peppers were so hot, with the fumes so hot, and we didn't know what we were doing. She burned her sinuses. So be careful with these peppers. I mean, they will hurt you if you're not careful. Don't touch yourself. I mean, wear gloves on my lips tonight. I'm not even sure how pepper juice or the capsaicin got up to my lips. I've tried milk. I've tried buttermilk. I've tried water bread nothing seems to work eventually i think the only thing it is time is the only factor that is going to make it any better so this is one of those videos of do as i say don't do as i do trying to help you out a little bit don't burn your lips don't burn your eyes don't burn your hands thank you all for watching please comment any questions you have in the box below please subscribe until next time